Hello, I'm in my bivvy. This is £4.13. The seaweed is proper kicked in now. God, that one's coming home too. Well, let's go, that's a slack line. I've got to go. What an awesome beach this is. I'm, I'm having a brilliant time. Brilliant. I'm absolutely shattered. I don't know about you, Reese. Yeah, I'm that good. Yeah, I am. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Uh, welcome to another episode of Essex Foraging and Fishing. Thanks for joining. Um, right, um, I'm going north and I'm waiting for my lift. My taxi, really. Reese, yeah. The fish hunt in the UK. You can't pick me up. I'm going up north. We're going to get some cod. I can promise you, we're going to get some cod. Maybe even a bass. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode from Essex Foraging and Fishing. We, today, I say we, Reese is over there. We're at night fishing. We are in we're at the Holderness coast of Withings, Withers, Within Sea. Within Sea, there we are. And we're here for cod today. I'm out at the moment, as you can see, my normal setup, SKS Blacks and uh, the Sonic 8000s, fixed ball reels. I've got both got pulley panels out there. And I've still got, I'm still, I've, even, I've still got my bait from um, the Whitby trip. I've got um, lots of stuff there. I've got crab and squid, blacks and squid. I've got loads of stuff. So I thought I'd bring that along. Reese's got some yellow tails as well. Lots of yellow tails, like 300. The time is six, 6.35 in the evening. Um, Reese picked me up around about one o'clock today and we traveled up. He's been traveling for like six hours. We just got here and we're here for 12 hours. We're fishing through the night, fishing the ebb. I don't know if you can see the tide there. Fishing the ebb. High tide is about half past five in the morning. We're gonna fish that up to high tide and then we're gonna go home. So we've got 12 hours to catch cod. That is the target today. I've got yellow tails on one and I've got squid and mussel on the other, both fully panel rigs. <sighs> okay, this, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting to go cod fishing again. Um, until obviously next season really. We're getting to the end of the season now. Um, obviously spring's coming in. However, on the north coast they don't really seem to go. So we thought, you know what? We've seen some recent catches. Reese gave me a call. Joe, you fancy going up? I said, why not? Why not? Let's catch a cod. Well right, guys, I've been here for an hour. Reese has caught a cod, we haven't weighed that yet. This is £4.13. What a cracking bite this was. I've had a few bites and I've missed them, but I've got this one. She's coming home with me. I'm absolutely chuffed. I've caught a few cod this year and this season. This gut, look at the gut on it. She's absolutely beautiful. I'm over the moon. I've been trying to get a cod like this all year. And I finally did it. The, the rod's going crazy. Tonight is going to be a good night, I hope. I don't want to jinx it just yet. However, I'm going to kiss it. I don't want to kiss it because it's so sandy here. It's, it's a pain in, it's a pain. Either way, I'm over the moon. Let's get some more. Right everyone, how you doing? Okay, I'm absolutely buzzing about that. £4.13 cod, that is my personal best. I'm absolutely buzzing about that. Okay, right, Reese's, don't know if you can see him there. He's zooming in, he's gone for a walk, as he does. Reese has had two, I haven't shown you it. Mind you, actually, hang on. I'm gonna keep one, because I wanna take one home, which is full in size. Where is it? There it is. There's one there. I'll say it's about a pound and a half. And uh, the other one, he went back. So, yeah, he's done. He's done all right. I don't know what he's doing over there. I reckon he's. Where is he? Where is he? Da -da 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 -da. He's near the breakwaters. I reckon he's looking for peelers. You know. I reckon that's what he's looking for. Um, right, low tide is in about two hours. It has quietened off. The weed has picked up slightly. Um, the yellowtails are working their magic. I'm having a great time. Um, I'm still here for about another nine hours. Um, we did speak to a local and um, he had a cod in his hand. He caught a bass as well earlier in the day. So it'd be nice to get a bass. However, we came for cod. We got cod. That looks tiny there. It's not really, it's, it's, it's big. You've seen it anyway. Um, so yeah, that's my personal best cod. Got a personal best small lie this year as well. It's been a good year so far. However, the last video I did was uh, a bit rubbish for Thornback Grace. However, we came here for cod, we got cod. 
the local did say that it does pick up when the tide turns so i reckon in about two hours around about midnight it's going to start again so midnight till five o'clock is high tide in the morning five five in the morning at the moment it's nearly nine o'clock so we've got about an hour and a half until low tide so i'm just looking forward to when the tide turns it should pick up i am absolutely chuffed with that buzzing buzzing but again we got loads of yellow towels we got loads of my baits there a bit messy then i can see that put my light on it, joe come on mate sort it out ah, there we go we've got a mixture in there some peeler crabs some squid yellow tails a mixture of everything cod love it i'm loving it it's great to be back out fishing on a sandy beach with and see is where i am just uh past hull you've got to travel to get this cod and it's well worth it Right, I'll bring you back, hopefully in a bit, with a fish. I have a, I have a good feeling it will be another cod. Sorry to jump on your video, Joe, but Joe's into a fish. <laughs> yeah, fish on. <coughs> All right, sorry. Go down. Been constantly getting bites. The tide has now turned, it's on the surge. I don't know now. There's still a nice bend there, Joe. I'm, I'm optimistic for you, mate. I'm going to go down, Joe. Okay, mate. I'm just trying to hijack Joe's video, guys. I can see, I can see something. What we got? Is there a... Oh, yes! <laughs> that is what we came for. That's another sizable fish, dude. Beautiful. Get in! <laughs> what, you got two pound? Brilliant. Gotta be. Fantastic. What was that caught on, Joe? That was caught on yellow towels, of course. Yellow friend. towels on a pulley rig, yeah? On a pulley rig. Happy days. Awesome. Oh, what's he just coughed up? Oh. A shrimp and a big white nice. bait. Yeah. That's a really big white bait, isn't it? That's what we coughed up. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> nice one, Jolo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got my biggest of the night. I've got my third codlin. Did weigh the other one as well. That was three pounds. This is probably about a pound and a half. It's a little bit too small, bless her. Obviously, she's, she's well in size, but... Um, I'm gonna get her off the hook and get her back. Happy days, three cod. Been here for about four hours, I've still got about another five to go. Brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic fishing right now. There you go guys, look at that. Now I've been accompanied, look at that. Beautiful bass. These are actually sized, you can actually take these home if they're over 42 centimeters on the 1st of March. It's the 28th of February today and it's at 11.45. In other words, I'm 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes to go until I can actually take these home. This is going back anyway, but it's lovely to see. Um, I might give her a quick measure, I might not, but I want to get her back. Happy days, beautiful bass. I'm going to say it's about 50 centimetres there. Absolutely buzzing. Reese, quickly do. He's quickly videoing. He caught a bass as well, pretty much 30 seconds after I caught mine. So we had a huge shoulder bass just rock on up on this beach. What an awesome beach this is. I'm, I'm having a brilliant time. So basically it's 12 o'clock. We've been in now five hours. Got another five to go. Happy days. Brilliant. All right, ladies and gents, an update. Um, well, Reese has got four. I've got four. Three cod, one bass. Three cod, one bass. I had to follow the rules, obviously. It was quarter to 12 on the 28th of February. You can't take bass at that time. You can only take them from the 1st of March onwards. However, I don't I don't like to keep bass. Oh, here we go. Mike's got a cod. They're still going. It is constant. It is nice. It's not go, go, go all the time. It's good to catch up with the boys. However, what have we got here? Hey? The rig works. <laughs> the rig does work, yeah. 
three down to the middle one. That's them on. size one circles. Yeah. One circles, three hook pulley rig. Yeah. Well done, mate. Nice one. Lovely. Good lad. It's great fun. Um, it's, it's just constant. I've never known anything like it. Um, go to the Bristol Channel, you ain't going to get this. Well, I haven't anyway. Um, come to the northeast, boom, here they are. So, yeah, obviously, um, I haven't pro been producing much content recently. It's, um, it's been, uh, I've been, I've had a really tough couple of months actually. Um, so, I've taken a bit of a back step from the channel. So, all right, Reese, how you doing? Good, mate, good. You having fun? I'm loving it. I'm cold and wet, but I'm, I just, oh, mate, what a trip, what a session. Yeah, man. Such a spare of the moment one, Nick. They always tend to be the best at that spare the moment trips. But this has really, really worked out well. I can't remember the last time I called Cod and Bass in the same session. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know if I have. Might be a first. Yeah, I reckon. I have seen some people do it, but... I called Cod and Mackerel in the same session. Yeah. That was a long time ago. And the cod was only that big, but it was a cod. It was a cod, mate, yeah. Had a beard. We're only uh, halfway through, though. I, I will say, though, I've just walked back and my lines are quite close to your rods now. I've moved back. So, it's all right. Yeah, yeah we're going to move back now. Got about another four hours, five hours of the surge, and uh, we're halfway through. And we, <laughs> we've done pretty well. Yeah. Four cod each and a bass. Happy days. Three cod each and a bass. I wish it was four cod. But I've only got three. Oh, I've only got three then. Oh, yeah. that three cod in the bass. <laughs> anyway, guys, sorry, um, I completely got sidetracked to what I was saying. Um, I'm basically I've taken a bit of a back step from the channel. I've got a few ideas that I want to take my channel. I've got my channel. I want my channel to go different places. So um, watch this space for that. Um, it's a lot of mixture of. I, I don't want to give too much away. I'm even thinking of a changing changing my name. Obviously, you know, you guys know I've got the sib. Uh, which I'm buzzing about um, that is a part of the big plans I'm still looking for an engine and a trailer plus everything else that I've got planned to make my channel better for you guys um, it's going to be completely different content to anyone any youtuber that is in the UK as it stands I have spoken to Reese about it Reese is aware of what I've got planned and a few other people obviously Wayne the blind angler um, he knows about it as well so yeah I might be a bit quiet but um I've got a lot of content to come guys so but it's I'm, I'm probably gonna take a little break for about two or three months to get it all ready because um, I want to I want to I want to kickstart this the right way I might do a few videos here or there um, you know especially if I'm gonna do videos like this because I mean like for example obviously I, I, I have I haven't done it yet but I will post a video that I did in Essex oh that's a nice bite um, I'll be back in a second God, look at that go go on go again I will be back in a second, but I would like that to go. That's a slack line. I've got to go. Just like that, guys. Nice cord. It's about a pound and a half. Yes, she's in size, but that's not big enough for me. So I'm going to be putting her back. Let's quickly, quickly do that now. Obviously, I ain't got my waders on. So I'll give her a good throw. Surf's a little bit dangerous. Be a little bit wary of the water. She can go back there. And she's off. Fantastic, four cod in a session and I'm not even halfway through. Absolutely love it here. It's a little bit of a mess, but there we go. I just brought into both rods, the seaweed is proper kicked in now. Um, okay, yeah, cod number five. And then the second rod also went. I need to watch where I'm going because there's line everywhere. And cod <laughs> number six get in oh wow this is absolutely fantastic sorry about the sands not a lot i can do about that but oh, beautiful beautiful fish oh that's six um yeah that, that's now six cod where's the other one he's there i need to get him unhooked um i'd say again she's a good two and a half three pound well no two and a half pound same with that one um keepers you know, I don't know what I'll do with these, but um, I'm absolutely buzzing. That's six cod in one night, plus a bass. Uh, Reese is on, what's he on? Four? Four, I think. 
it's um yeah this is becoming absolutely amazing i'm absolutely shattered i ain't gonna lie um but i'm gonna keep on going we've got loads of bait left let's get more and more cod oh man this is i was i was debating coming to this trip you know because i was getting a bit sick of the cod fishing because i wasn't wasn't catching it wasn't having any luck just shows you you should never give up absolutely buzzing I need to show you quickly about this weed give you a bit of a it's quite thick there you can't really see it it's really really thick now i'll show you as a a good example of reese's rod the weed we have to deal with well and the way to deal with that is bite shot leader off bite the nut off slide the weed straight off because rather than sit there mucking about trying to pick it all off it's just as quick to cut your line and tie another leader knot um, if there's a little bit then yeah it's fine but when there's loads of it it's just as easy to tie another knot well you see how quick I got rid of the lead up so I've tied a loop I don't, I don't know, Joe, if you've done knots on yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Um, and then well, not on my channel, but you're showing it. And, and then all I do is I poke it through that. You can probably see that. Um, wrap it round. I don't really count. I just look and think, yep, that'll do. So I'm looking and thinking, yep, that'll do. Poke it back through the loop at the bottom. I should have been less tight with the line. So poke it back through the loop at the bottom. That tag end. Sorry, my fingers are cold. And then that will go back through that loop four times. One, two, three. Well, oh, because I didn't have enough line, I messed it up. <laughs> Hang on, yeah, there's enough. Three, four. Pull that one tight, so you've got your knot there. Bit of spit. Pull the shock leader tag in tight so that it can't pull through the knot and then bring them all down together and that's pulling as you do and that pulls up to make a nice knot so we'll trim your tag ends job done it's easy when you're not got a camera in your phone yeah you know. sorry yeah. mate no, sorry, it's mate. nice right no i that's wanted to it. show you people thanks mate that's no, fine appreciate it right i'm going to keep these cod i am one and two i've put two back i need to get some rods in the water because the cods are going crazy right now anyway Fantastic. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm still live. I've got a very good bite here. Okay. Oh, look. No, it's still there. That's still there. So, another tip, guys. I've just had a really good bite, but now it's stopped. It's still there. But what I would normally do, get hold of my line, give it a tug, leave it for a sec, Nine times out of ten, if there's a fish on there and it's hooked, it will have a tug back. Nothing. So I'll leave that for a little bit longer. Oh. All right, where do I start? Okay, it's quarter to two. We might finish about three o'clock. However, I'm very happy with my haul of fish. There's five cod there, one of which is Reese's. A bass which is Reese's. I had six cod in total and one bass. Reese's had four cod in total and two bass. So he's done well too. So yeah. Um we were gonna leave at five, we're probably gonna leave at three now. We're absolutely shattered. Um and obviously we've got a five hour drive home. Reese has got more like a six hour drive home. So um yeah. Yeah, it's all really, really, really good. So, what we got? Oh, we got a live fish. Oh, flatty. That's a nice little surprise. 31 centimetre flounder. Flounder. Lovely. Beautiful. Nice one, mate. Caught on blacks on your three hook flapper. Yep, that was right, no. Eh? Got Again, he's bet, look, all the yeah. cod is full. Yeah, they're full to the brim. Must be so much food. They eat well here, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Well done, Mick, mate. Oh, here we go, Joe. Live bite. Live bite. Off it, Steve. <laughs> <laughs>
it did go, it has gone quiet for the last, I'm gonna to have to say about an hour, hour and a half, it's gone a bit quiet. Picked up when the tide turned and uh, then we really started getting some fish and then it got quiet again. We were told about this. They do say it picks up again just, um, you know, about an hour or two just before high tide. So that's about three o'clock in the morning, which is about, you know, we're not too sure if we're gonna stay here for that. Um, but yeah, Freeze gets the fish. Um, I will show it to you. Yeah, nice little flounder there from Mick. Really, really good. That's Mick Outdoor. Mad Mick Outdoor Adventures on YouTube. He's come from up north, Carlisle, and he's come to join us tonight. Really, really good light. If you haven't checked him out, check out his channel. Um, right, yeah, I'm still hopeful for another cod. I would love to get a double figure, but however, I mean, look at that. Look at that. I will give them a wash and sort them all out, but I am well chuffed with that. Oh, mate, I've got more cod up tonight than I have in my whole life, I think. Um, I'm definitely coming back here. There you go, guys. Nice little cod there. That's number seven for me today, which makes it double figures for me for this the cod, the cod season. So I'm, I'm absolutely chuffed. I'm absolutely shattered. I don't know about you, Reese. Yeah, I'm that good. Yeah, I am, yeah. <laughs> It's been absolutely fantastic. I'm coming back here again. Um, I've got enough for the table. This is going to go back. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. This side ain't sandy. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> well done, Joe. Nice one, back. mate. Right, guys, that's the end of the video. I'm absolutely cream crackered. There's a fish hunter's van. Reese, if you haven't already subscribed to his channel, you'd be stupid not to. I'm shattered. Thanks for watching, guys. Seven cod and one bass for me. Five cod, two bass for Reese. What a night. What a night. We will be back. Until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Hello, guys. I was so out of breath, I didn't really finish that video very well. Um, a few things. Obviously, you saw myself and Reese catch two bass pretty much at the same time. We let that go, and it was quarter to 11, quarter to 12 on uh, the 28th of Feb. Um, you know, just to save arguments from any fifth effy people who are out there. Um, and obviously you can see that bass that I was taking home as well. That's Reese's second bass that he caught. And uh, he got that at 10 to 1. And that was uh, 3 pound, 8 ounces or something like that. Um, uh, on the 1st of March. So obviously we kept it. If you, if you don't believe me, go and check out his channel, Fish Hunter UK. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Um, so you can go see it's all legit. Um, and I've already prepped that and uh, gave that to me mum. Happy days. So that's all sorted. That was a long day. I absolutely loved it. Um, well, we also got met. We met Mick from Carlisle. Uh, go check out his channel as well. I will put that in the description too. Mad Mick Outdoor Activities, if I'm correct. I'll, go, I'll, I'll, I'll double check that, but I'll put his link in the description. Go and check him out. Lovely guy up north. Does lots of cod fishing. Does loads of rigs. Really, really nice bloke. It was, it was a pleasure meeting him the other night. Um, Right, that's about it for this video. I will be taking a little break off YouTube. I'm not gonna stop filming, but I'm not gonna be posting it. I've got um, I've got some big plans for my channel. Big, big plans uh, with the rib, not the rib, the sib I have bought. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll just stick a quick picture in it right there. I'll stick that in there right now. And yeah, I've got some big plans with that. I am still looking for an engine for it. I wanna get a trailer as well. With an alley, alley, alley deck on it, I've got, I, I would like it on a trailer, so I can take it everywhere, everywhere, and I've got, yeah, I, I'm not, I don't want to give too much away. I'm changing my name too, um, just purely because I'm not doing things in Essex very much anymore, I'm everywhere, so um, I'm going to be changing my name, so look out for that. I'm going to be doing merch, I'm going to be doing absolutely everything and, make, and just kicking the, the new channel. It's not a new channel, it will still be this channel, with fishing in it, still. However, it's going to be a bit different, more fun, and uh, hopefully a lot more enjoyable for everyone out there. So, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to talk to you guys face to face. So instead of like looking, it was just, it's, it's, it, the video that I've just done, that you just watched, is quite dark. It is hard to film in the dark when you haven't got much light. It is what it is. But the fishing was absolutely fantastic. Thank you again to Reese the Fish Hunter for taking us. You know, it was the best cod session I've ever had. Simple, and. Um, and here's to many more. So yeah, if you haven't already guys, like and subscribe to the channel. 
Look out for the new name. Look out for a couple of updates on Facebook, Instagram. Check that all out. And also on YouTube as well when I put up some statuses. I appreciate all your support. And uh, yeah, this is exciting. This is going to be a good year. Look out for it. Stay safe, everyone. And thank you all very much. Take care.